what you're thinking. It's been a while since I've seen a photo of ducks by Theta Pond here on Weekly 50, but guess what? I've got you covered. Here you are. This is a photo of a duck, actually two ducks, right near Theta Pond at Oklahoma State University. And as I've said before, it almost seems like cheating to get photos of ducks at Theta Pond because they're everywhere. Uh, it's almost like uh, Indian paintbrush flowers. It's hard to not get a good picture. But what you do need to take into account is how to get a well-composed a uh, picture where the subject is is framed well and focused and looking in the right direction. That's a little more tricky. And that's what I've got here. And that's why I'm sharing it here on Weekly 50. I actually just walked past this, this duck when I was out on uh, a walk by Theta Pond. I didn't even think about it as a photo opportunity. I had my camera with me, but I walked past and, and uh, this duck was actually sleeping with its head tucked into its feathers. And I thought, well, who wants another picture of a duck? And I got about 20 feet past this duck and I thought, I do. I want another picture of a duck. Why not? It's cool to take pictures of these things. So I turned around, went back, and this duck didn't even notice I was there, which was really awesome. I didn't want to disturb it, um, but I, I wanted to get a little closer to get a photo. And if you look very carefully in the foreground, you see at the very, very, very bottom, it's like kind of light gray. That's because that's the sidewalk. I literally set my camera on the sidewalk and pointed it upward. And by that time, this duck, it started to notice me, but it clearly didn't see me as any, any sort of threat or something to be scared of. So it just sort of hung out while I took its picture. And I didn't know what aperture to use, but I figured I would only get a, a short amount of time before this duck just left. So I shot this at f1.8. And I wanted to nail the focus right on this duck's eye. So that's exactly what I did. I moved the little focus point to the eye. I was in live view with the, uh, the flip out screen tipped up so I could see clearly. And I took this photo at F1.8 and then I took a couple others. And I like this one the best because of a couple compositional elements. For one, I like the contrast between the dark head of the duck and the lighter sky. I kind of wish the duck was a little to the left or right so it was either framed all against an orange background or all against the white sky. As it is, it's fine. I like the glint in the duck's eye. I like the way that it's looking directly to the left and not for, uh, not at me or away from me. And I also like that second duck in the background. There's just a tiny little bit of overlap between the, the tail feathers of the, the subject and that darker duck in the background. I don't really mind that. And I like the way that this creates a sense of scale. You have that building in the background and another building in the background. You have the trees and the light coming through it, kind of arcing across the scene. This isn't a groundbreaking photo. It's not going to win any awards, but it's fun to take these photos. And yes, anyone can just walk by Theta Pond, point their camera and get a picture of a duck. But it's fun to think about that from a, a bit more of a challenging perspective. What, how can I take a different picture of a duck? How can I take a more interesting picture of a duck? How can I uh, position myself to get closer or to think about uh, the other elements in the shot, to get more than just any old picture of a duck at Theta Pond. I don't know if this qualifies. Uh, I just know that I had fun, fun taking this picture.